All right, on my way to the top of Seneca Rock, something I've been wanting to do for a while. Supposedly it's only about a mile and a half one way. So here we go. I would start this journey with a hearty breakfast that I got here at the Yoakum's General Store. If you're in the area, the food's really good and very reasonable. Some of the groceries, it's not quite as reasonable, but you're in the middle of nowhere. You gotta pay for convenience. I really like this place. I had them double the French toast order. Man, what a good breakfast this was. Heck, I could have rode the GSA up this path. This would have been a lot easier than that road I was on yesterday. <laughs> so far, the path's been really easy. But, I'm feeling the constant uphill. Got the heart rate going, the hamstrings burning. Well, <laughs> I made it to the viewing platform at least. Frickin' sweat in my butt off. <sighs> okay, enough of my ugly money. A quick question how am I supposed to call 911 when I have no cell service this is one way to get a raise isn't it I made it to the top. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So, here's proof. You can see the background. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> found this really close to the entrance or the bottom of the trail. However you prefer to look at it. Can you imagine being Jacob Sites and actually having to force yourself to live here in such a beautiful area? Anyway, I thought the homestead was kind of cool. His family lived here until approximately 1947. And then I forget what the sign said. I think it was in the 60s. They sold it over the park service. Pretty cool place. Well, I made it back to the bottom finally. Boy, am I feeling the burn. I am so out of shape, it's not funny. But anyway, I hope you like this tour of Seneca Rocks. If you would, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.